Take the rack out of the dishwasher and remove the old rack adjusters. Some of the items that you're gonna need is a Whirlpool factory certified parts replacement kit, a Torx head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. The first step is to remove the old adjuster. Start that off by putting in a screwdriver here and pry that off very carefully. And then you'll want to pop this piece off. And this one is a little more tricky. Lift up and pop it up. And it slips right off. Okay, these two clips need to be depressed in order to get this piece off right here. That holds the entire rack adjustment. Okay, this piece is a little difficult to do, but you just need to get these two clips inside and you just have to pry and out it pops. And there is the old rack adjuster completely removed from your dishwasher rack. Now let's install a new rack adjuster where the old one was taken away. So the first thing is, we're gonna take the rack adjuster, we're gonna count one, two, three, Four, these are called tines. We're gonna put the fourth tine in and we're gonna rest it right here. And we're gonna take these and you can see there's an open slot here. That slot is gonna go right here and then this little clip is gonna clip in this little hole. Slide it down until you hear a click. Same here, you uh, rotate it into position, slide the metal piece over that into that slot and you'll hear a click. Well so far what we've done is we've put the rack adjuster one, two, three, four positions down on the dishwasher rack and then these positioning clips hold it into place. Okay, time to put the adjuster body and actuator onto the rack. And just note these positions here as it nests right into the rack, see that? You'll know that you've assembled this adjuster body correctly when the bars nestle inside these cutouts. Once you have the adjuster resting perfectly against the tines, the next thing you have to do is put the adjuster cap into place. And see this little lip light right here? That's gonna go right inside a little hole and then it snaps into place. The next thing is to take the screws, get them started, take your Torx head screwdriver and tighten the screws. Now all you have to do is do the exact same procedure on the other side. And remember to always use Whirlpool factory certified parts.